Welcome back from that break. Before we went on it, I was talking about Cristiano Ronaldo's awesome goal. Let's take some few WhatsApp messages. This one says, CR7 is just unstoppable. And this one, Valanio in Aquatia says, I'm not happy that Ronaldo scored, but if it's Messi, I would like it. Messi is my best player. And um, this one says, Cristiano Ronaldo, first goal makes Madrid fans happy. And his second goal makes Juventus fans happy. And his final must make Barcelona fans happy. What a player. So it's Wednesday and you know who joins me in studio? Spikey Nkrumah. Yes, and we'll be talking about how to delete files that have been duplicated, right? Spikey? Yep. Spikey? Exactly. Okay. So the floor is yours. Okay, so you know WhatsApp is one of the most popular chatting softwares on our phones. And a lot of people are constantly sh sharing images that they find online, videos and all that. You find that you're on one group or the other and someone shares a video or a photo, you go to another group, you've received that same photo or video. You go to another group, it's there and it keeps duplicating on your phone because your phone can't tell that you've already received this image or video. So the question is, how do you get rid of these duplicates? And well, if you're using an iPhone and you go to the App Store, mm -hmm. the apps like Duplicate Photos Fixer, yeah. which focuses on photos. So you install it, it scans through your photos, and it will find duplicates of these images that are already on your phone. Sometimes it may be photos that you've already taken. Yeah. It will find all the duplicates and you can delete them to free up space. Another is Remo Duplicate Photo Remover. That also scans based on the name and the size okay. of the photos. And it sees that, okay, these are similar and groups them so you can delete them. The thing about Apple is that you're only limited to just photos because Apple doesn't really give you control over your files. Yeah. So if it's not a photo or a video, it doesn't give you that flexibility to find duplicates of say documents and all that. But I mean, photos actually take more space than every other thing on, on our phones, right? Uh -huh. So moving away from iOS, we move to Android, and I have one of the examples open here that's Duplicate File Fixer. So Duplicate File Fixer does the same as I have mentioned, but it scans for audio, mm -hmm. scans for videos, scans for pictures and documents. So if you want to just scan for audios, you just check this box over here, and it will scan your phone or your tablet for just audios to find duplicates. Mm -hmm. And if you want to scan videos, you do the same pictures, documents, or you might just do the full duplicate scan, and, and it searches your phone for audios, videos, pictures, and documents for duplicates. So when you're done, you just hit scan now mm -hmm. and it will scan. Luckily, I've already cleared this of all our duplicates, so there's none. But it would have told me of all the duplicates here, we would have found audios, videos, pictures, and you go through to see which ones you'd want to delete. That's if you're not sure. When you're done, you hit delete all the files. Another thing is that it allows you in the settings to put an ignore list. So maybe you have a folder that you don't want to touch mm -hmm. or you don't want the software to go and clear anything out of. You can add that ignore list and it would add the folders that you don't want it to scan. So say this folder I don't want it to scan, I check it and it will never scan that folder for duplicates. So all my files in there are safe. And then finally there's another app which is from the almighty Google. Yes. It's called Files Go. It does the same thing but the advantage is that Files Go has more features than all these other applications. So even though it does, it does um, allows you to check for duplicates, it also allows you to send and receive files. So say if I have Files Go on my Android device, you have Files Go to, and I want to send you a file, I don't need WhatsApp or Telegram or any online application. I can send it to you offline using Files Go. So Spiky, then, do yeah. I need to like pay for these or it's no, they no, free? No, no. You know, I don't suggest paid apps because in Ghana, a lot of people don't even have ways to pay for these apps yeah. online. But free ones are there. If they're free ones, I'll suggest the free ones. Okay, but are they safe from like any viruses? Yes. yes. Files Go, for instance, comes from Google. We know Google is a safe application developer. Mm -hmm. We all use Google, don't we? Okay. You just showed a Google Doodle today, so it means that you use Google a lot. So most, most, of, most of my days, yeah. Have you ever used any other search application besides Google? I mean, Yahoo has, does it not? It has. Yahoo yeah, in 2018? Like, yeah, because I'm stuck <coughs> in the past. That's the thing, you know. <coughs> Maps, you need to come for tutorials. Okay, no, I'm coming. Don't <laughs> worry. After the show, I'm coming. Sure. So, Files Go also allows you to clear your 
your phone or your device of not only duplicates but files that it deems you may not like and it uses artificial intelligence what this does is that it looks at the image and sees that the quality is not so good so you might not want to keep it on your phone and suggests to you that hey would you like to take this off your phone and if you say yes out of it so if you think that you are running out of space mm -hmm. and your phone just has like eight gigs of memory and i get that a lot everyone is constantly running out of space install one of these two apps and you'd be surprised how many duplicates you have on your phone or your tablet get rid of them and you may have some space all right thank you kobe the spiky for our tech talk today so today our video of the day is dr maya angelo take a look oh i am grateful to be, have been loved and to be loved now and to be able to love because that liberates love liberates it doesn't just hold that's ego love liberates you see love liberates it doesn't bind love says i love you i love you if you're in china i love you if you're cross town i love you if you're in harlem i love you i would like to be near you i'd like to have your arms around me i'd like to hear your voice in my ear but that's not possible now so i love you go that is all from the Rhetoric edition of Joy News Interactive with me, Mapita Sibiri. Remember, on Facebook and Twitter, we are Joy News on TV. So stay interactive and keep on spreading the love. Mm -hmm.